Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamer, sending you me on Twitter, the gaming drag. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus, and this time we're delving into Rune's Path. Yeah, my prob I'm probably going to be using this as the thumbnail. It's just all kinds of sweet and cute. Mm. Love these illustrations. But anyway, y'all, my partner's, my partner's trying to get some sleep behind me, so I'm going to be keeping my voice down a bit. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you were up, and let's go. All right. He doesn't smell of anything in particular, only of himself. But it's the nicest scent I know. It makes me feel happy and safe. I turn my head a bit so that my snout touches his paw. I hope he doesn't mind that. I mean, we're already snuggling half-naked in his bed. To my surprise, he lifts his paw and rubs my nose gently with his fingers. The tips of his fingers are stiffer than I expected, calloused by his guitar playing. It's an odd feeling, but not an unpleasant one. I nuzzled his paw in return, hoping he'd appreciate that. I'm happy. I still can't believe this is happening. The rune's torso, rising and falling in rhythm with his breathing, his paw petting the tip of my snout, his warm breath on my neck. They're all... They're all almost too real. I'm feeling a bit tense, afraid I might do something out of line that Rune would mind. This might be the last and only time I'm snuggling with him like this. I suddenly understand. I want to explore him a bit more, turn around and rest my head on his chest, but instead I let him snuggle himself into me and get the comfort that he needs. If this is the closest we'll ever be, then so be it. Right now I'm overflowing with joy. I can almost taste all the oxy oxytocin that my brain is pumping out. I really have a crush on him, don't I? The kind that doesn't let you sleep at night or think straight throughout the day. If I stayed in my bed, I would just lie there thinking of him. Rune. As he lies snuggled into me, his breathing slowly gets slower and his heart rate drops, until I'm sure he's asleep again. I grab his paw and mine gently, entwining our fingers and whisper, Good night. Day three. The dayest of the days. Snowflakes fall on my unfurled tongue, melting immediately. The warm glow seeps through the thin cover of clouds, and I bask in it, feeling it spread over my body. It's so good to be outside. My legs hurt from sitting for half the day, and I desperately need a coffee. But even just being back in the daylight instead of a stuffy lecture hall wakes me up. Okay, everyone. Please gather here. Do you hear me well? Please, quiet. We have something important to tell you. Thanks, Stefan. Professor Arn cleared his throat, his voice suddenly loud and commanding, but clear like morning air. Thank you, everyone, for participating in today's lectures. If you feel like discussing any of the topics covered today in more detail, we will be holding a seminar in the cafeteria before supper. The returning bus will depart at 1700, at 1700 hours, from the same spot we arrived at this morning. That should give you plenty of time. Remember, we'll be here tomorrow as well. No need to rush to see everything in one day. For now, you're free to do whatever you like. Thank you. Please, don't be late. We won't be happy if we have to wait for you. Nice, that's three hours of free time. You wanted to go to a tea house, right? Yeah, unless you had some other plans. Nope, sounds better than whatever I could come up with. Though, I'd like to go around and take some photos too, especially of the coast. I want to see the coast too. We could, we could go after the tea house. We should make it there in, ti in time for the sunset. Oh, and I need food. Preferably not too expensive. I think I stopped feeling hunger around the penultimate lecture and just fell into this numbness of energy conservation mode. Needless to say, my state my state is dire. That's good, because believe it or not, the tea house I found is a kitchen and they serve Indian food. Just what kind of place is it? Maybe more people would want to go. I asked around yesterday, but nobody gave a definite answer. You don't want to take Devin? I assume you would since you're often together. No, he had some plans of his own. Going somewhere with the rest of the faculty, I bet. I look around, and from the people I know, there's Miko and Bjorn chatting together. And Lake with Jorgen, also looking around. Uh... Let's have Lake and Jorgen. How about Lake and Jorgen? Now, this is interesting, so you get two different choices. Alright, let's do Lake and Jorgen. How about Lake and Jorgen? Oh, they're great people, sure. I asked Jorgen about it yesterday. He seemed enthusiastic, but he wasn't sure if Lake would like to go. We could ask them now. Hey, Jorgen, can you come here for a moment? Rune waves to the bat, catching his attention. He grabs Lake by the cuff and pulls him towards us, too. 
Hey, what's going on? Remember that tea house I mentioned yesterday? We want to go there now. They have food, too, so we'd have that covered. Lake? Hmm, I am hungry. I thought about going to a Korean barbecue place, but most people already went somewhere else. I guess we could tag along. It's always nicer to have company. Great, we can go then. It's so nice here. Lake walks a few steps behind us, enchanted, eyes clinging to every building we pass. The smaller towns here are always charming. People here really care about how they look. Oh, Rune? How did it go with the project yesterday? He looks cheerful, but something in his voice, quieter and more unsure today, makes me feel like there's something wrong. I left it as is. Maybe I'll get back to it with some fresh ideas. So, here we are. This is it. There are narrow streets lined with colorful houses, some bricks, some wooden. We've made our way from the center to the heart of an even livelier but, clo but cozier district, full of cafes and small stores. I love it. I have to go out here later and get lost in all the winding alleys and squares. Makes me think of some magical medieval fantasy, something straight out of a computer game almost. Oh, it looks quite unassuming. I was afraid it'd be a snobbish place. Snobbish? Why would it be? Tea has this sort of connotation. And suddenly the smell of cooking reaches us, the mouth-watering aroma of garlic, tomatoes, and spices, so many of them in such high intensity that my nose can't pick them apart. My stomach reacts with a sharp pang of hunger, once again reminding me how empty it is. Oh, it smells heavenly! It really does! So, are we coming in? Any objections? None. Now get in before I collapse from hunger! One by one we enter, Rune closing the door. The inside is dim and hushed, the smells of tea and incense a stark contrast from the cardamom and cumin we smelled outside. The muted sounds of a bustling kitchen float out from behind a wooden door at the back of the shop. Behind the counter is a yak wearing a linen shirt his large posture partially obscuring shelves with a dizzying amount of teas, just rows and rows of tins and bags. So warm, finally! Uh, got it, my dog. Got it, my dog. Bestill your VR earlier. Vet board it. Up with it. Duggins with your starter path tablet, if per port. Ah, talk. Guys, today's dishes are on the board over there. We can order at the table. I glance at the board, but I don't recognize any of the names, even though it's in both English and Norwegian and some other language I don't know. Chanadal, okra, okra, roti, kitri, no. None of these ring a bell. I guess I'll just ask Rune. Only a few dishes. That's always a good sign. Do you have a table for the four of us? Oh, yes. We have a few left in the main room. Sit down and I'll bring you the menus. Thank you. One menu in Norwegian, three in English. Two in Norwegian, please. The main room is big and still mostly full. This place is quite obviously popular with the locals. Still, with people lounging around, some drinking tea, a few with metal plates with rice and some curry, it feels quiet and cozy. We find a table at the opposite side, at a window facing a small square with a fountain, covered in snow. Before we sit down, I quickly snap a pic of it through the window, pressing the lens to the window pane. Here you are. The at guy drops his four menus with a wide smile, heading back to the counter. They seem nice. Very. I wonder where they're from. They had quite a heavy accent. The shirt may The shirt makes me think of Nepal. But maybe they brought it maybe they bought it for the bought it for the effect. Fits this place certainly. Looks like a nail. I really like it here, by the way. I haven't been in any places like this one my whole life. Like this? You mean a tea house? This is Oriental, I mean. Half the tables don't uh, don't have chairs and people sit on the floor. Oh yeah, that's one of the nicest features of tea houses. I wouldn't do this to you though. I tried to convince Devin to try them and he didn't want to go out anywhere else with me for a week. Oh, hmm. This place isn't cheap. Not the tea selection at least. I grab the menu. Turns out to be more of a book. There's pages and pages and pages of all kinds of teas and infusions and drinks. Most of them I don't even know, let alone the individual, te individual teas listed. I guess I'll have to ask Rune about these too. And indeed, the prices are rather high. A teapot of any green tea costs about as, almost as much as a whole dinner. So, do you know what you want? No. Ah, first time in a tea house? Yeah, the names of the dishes seem very cryptic, too. Ah, I see. From what I saw, they serve complete meals here, so you get rice and roti. That's a sort of whole grain flatbread, a vegetable dish and a doll of your choice. Doll is a dish from, leg from, from leg legumes that goes together with the main vegetable one. 
He had okra curry and aligobi. That's potatoes and cauliflower and tomato sauce. I recommend the latter. Not everyone finds okra palatable. Oh yeah, by the way, about uh about curry, yeah. My uh I made made some amazing curry the other day. It was so good. So good, so nice and spicy. Oh, so good. Though personally I'm a fan. They have only one doll today, or ran out of the others. Chana or Chana is chickpeas. Everything sounds great. I'm not really sure what to order. Maybe I could go with okra curry. I've had okra before I liked it. Before and liked it. I want both, but you're taking okra already. I'll get aligobi and try the okra for you. One bite. One? One. I already chose my dish, so I'm going through the never-ending list of teas, looking for anything I'd recognize. Mm-hmm. About the teas, anything you'd recommend? What are oolongs? Oh, those are nice. They're somewhere between black and green teas, usually with whole leaves tightly rolled into small balls. Their tastes range from flowery and subtle to milky or buttery, or even roasted and woody. You can brew them many times, sometimes up to like six, and still have a lot of flavor in each brew. So you can get more than one brew of these here? Yeah, look here. The number of teapots next to the price is the amount of brews they serve of each tea. If you've never been to a tea house before, then I suggest we take a few different I me mean, take a few different types of each one and share them. Sounds perfect. Yes. Sounds perfect. Yes. Okay. So how about one green tea, one oolong, and one black? Hmm. I'm curious about this one. Uh, Kaimasama. I pointed out the menu. And the position is so nice as Kaimasala. Brewed with spices, served with honey and soy milk, this creamy delight is perfect for evenings with friends. Are you ready to order? Yes, thank you. We'll take Zinjuang Wulong, Basal Kai, Gyokuru, and maybe Zarjiling Autumnal? We only have first and second flush at the moment, I'm sorry. Ah, first flush then, please. And I'll take the set with Okra Curry. Uh, for me, a set with Alagobi. Same for me. And I will take a set with Okra Curry. Okay, thank you. Is that all? Yes, thank you. So, how did you like today's lectures? The lectures were absolutely fantastic. I don't know where they found them, but I haven't heard anyone talk about science as passionately. You could feel that it's their whole life. I like the one about the future of space exploration. The lecturer had such, has such a soft voice, and the seats in that lecture hall were so comfortable. I think that was the only one during which I managed to fall asleep. Oh, one second. There we go. They were nice, but I wish they provided some food during the break. I didn't know I was supposed to bring my own snacks. There, there. The dinner's almost here. Here's your food. The same guy comes back holding a huge tray, and on it four metal dishes, each with a huge heap of food on it. Then the smell reaches us, mouth-watering and so delicious, of spices, fresh chili and ginger, of coconut and fresh bread. As Rune said, each plate put before us is two different dishes. A mound of rice, some red sauce, a cucumber salad, and then a flat round of bread, dark in color. I'll bring your teas in ten minutes. Please enjoy the food in the meantime. Pepper did smacker. Wow, that's a lot. It looks so good. I take a spoonful of the curry and try just a bit, worrying it might be too spicy, but no. It's delicate, full of flavor, but totally mild. Oh, this is good. Oh yeah, the doll is just perfect. Jorgen, can I have a can I have my bite? Go ahead. <clears throat> oh. I think I don't like okra. It's slimy. Well, I warned you. Good thing I got the potato curry. It's really delicious. This really is a nice place. Now I wish we had something similar in Anzlo, serving both food and tea. And if they became, if, if they'd have a scene here, and if they'd have a scene here, that would be easily, that'd easily be the nicest spot I've ever been. A scene? Yeah, they could invite bands playing traditional music to play live in the evenings. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know how many traditional bands are here. Can't be too many. But yeah, live music is the best. Do you, go, do you go to concerts often? A lot, yeah. I have a few favorite spots. I've even played in a few. What? You're in a band, or are you playing solo? And why you never mentioned it? That's more of a project than a regular band. We don't have rehearsals. We meet on the stage whenever a venue wants to host us, and play, what I, and play whatever that we feel like in the moment, which is usually industrial or noise. We're regulars at one venue in the industrial district. It's anarchist-led, and it lets us play once a month. It's a lot of fun. That sounds awesome. What other bands play there? Lately, it's mostly shoegaze and chill wave. The latter seems to be going through a revival, and the former is always popular. It's the easiest thing to play if you're an alternative kid and grab a guitar. 
I like it, usually. That's really cool. You have to give me the address. I never really dived into the local music scene. It's hard to find an entry point. You must have... You, you must... You just have to look for posters. We always hang a few around the city. And... And find the time to go there. But I'll try going when you're playing, at least. If I don't have to practice, then. Appreciated. Are you talking about... Fucking hell... Kulturg... Kulturg Janop Livingshus? Kulturg Janop Livingshus? Yeah, that one. I took you... I took you there a few night, a few times, remember? Just once. It was a cool place. I loved the atmosphere, but I didn't really like the bands. It's a toss-up with the local bands. Most of them are playing, are playing on a proper scene for a crowd for the first or second time. I like, eh, I like live music. I like the energy, the atmosphere, the sound systems, the interaction with the band, the social aspect of it. Even if the bands aren't great, it's still an experience. I guess. I like concerts mostly for the music itself. You know, you know what's social, interactive, and fun? Karaoke. That's the most fun you could possibly have. I'm happy there are so many in Anzla. I never get, I never get bored of them. Do you think there might be one here? Likely, yes. But they always open in the late evening. There's no chance we'd find one this early. Yeah, right. And here are your teas. The timing is great. We're mostly done with the food already. This is Gyokuro. We're sharing all four. You can put them anywhere. Great choice. So this pot is Arjiling. The blue one is Injuan. And this one is Masala Kai. Thank you. These are already brewed. When you want your second brews, please ring this bell. And away he goes, leaving us with four teapots and four small vessels that I imagine are versions of teacups. Small and conical, plain and with no handle. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye